Hi, I'm Sandeep, founder of Navault. So I'm a naval architect and uh, my mission is to decarbonize marine transport which is like 3% of global emission. Uh, let me show you one such emitter from mm-hmm. So this uh, was uncomfortable for most of you here. So imagine the passengers in the boat. Yeah. So uh, it is also representation of all the problems of a diesel ferry boat. So with noise, vibration, smell of fuel, and then air, water pollution, and our people crammed in. And this is what we were setting out to change. So when we look at a solution, there are three aspects to it. Uh, first is fundamentally how you can increase efficiencies. by design so reduce the weight by half by using lighter materials and reduce the power requirement uh, by optimizing the underwater shape so that when you see the a typical diesel ferry energy need it has become one third by just uh, application of this first step the second aspect is shifting the energy source i mean when you shift from a diesel to electric uh, the operating expense reduced by one third so that the 33 in the previous step became around 10 uh, but what we do differently is also we increase the uh, contribution from solar by redesigning the boat so that now 70% of the energy is from sun so that 10 is now 3 so the net result is what you need at 100 from a typical diesel ferry is now 1 by 33 times so that's a significant reduction in operating expense this is a technology aspect of it but when we did our first boat we also have a different car uh, um, uh, this or maybe i should tell the third aspect of safety so uh, typical boats are single hull and we also do a catamaran this is just to increase the space and stability of the boat uh, we also use uh, uh, like lfp or lto batteries which probably auto industry uh, uses nmc nca lca and other chemistries which are inherently unsafe but they add lot of electronics layer to improve the safety so these are some things we do in the boat to enhance safety and comfort so something which we had to do in addition which is uh, in a, especially in a first boat was to uh, deal with the entrenched players right so for example uh, there were expert opinions stating that solar ferries don't work we had Uh, certain vigilance inquiries and even cases filed in the court to stop the project uh, we even have a sabotage on our boat where you can see one of our boat is burned down so uh, obviously this doesn't happen in us probably uh, but we did have that experience but it didn't stop us and we finally had our boat uh, built uh, which was in 2017 and it has been operation for almost 6 years now and it has transported over 2 million passengers without a single drop of fuel which has saved almost 200,000 liters of diesel which is like 500 tons of carbon emission and 25,000 trees that's just one ferry so beyond ferries we also looked at uh, fishing boat this is another interesting application of high impact where the poorer fishermen fisher folks uh, which they go out daily fishing into the sea and uh, the most of their expense is in fuel and along with shell foundation we build these boat and now we are deploying across india there are 250000 to be done in india and about 2 million boats worldwide which is what we have to do so uh, even tourism boats which are easier problem than the other two boats so we have now uh, many of these boats operation about 15 of them tourism ferries and fishing and we have about 40 under construction uh, not just in india we are now exporting to maldives israel and as close as canada so these boats are also provided us a lot of accolades i just want to highlight that to uh, gustav true award which is like the oscars for electric boating uh, we are the only company of two of these awards and we have a 130 member team working on this so every location where there's public transport there is a need for carrying trucks and cars across the waters so that's the roro ferry we call and we are building the world's first solar electric roro ferry 
And we also want to stretch our technology in terms of speed, which is what we are trying to do. And as we build bigger and bigger boats, ultimately the end game is ship. So unless we solve cargo ship, which is responsible for 90% of um, marine transport emission, uh, our journey is not complete. And for that, we need to develop wind technologies and fuel cell technologies, which we are trying to do. And uh, we hope to do that in the next three to five years, along with a good investor. So when we do that, um, we can achieve our vision of a cleaner and quieter oceans. Thank you.